of people like Palestinian billionaire Munib al-Masri, who will turn his West Bank estate into an academic retreat for foreign scholars, a research center that will attract professors to teach at Palestinian universities and bring the subjects we want to create a strong civil society. And let us go back to the first dream we presented. Think how long Victor Pinchuk held on to his. Through political, social, and economic upheaval, and yet his dream persisted. And remember his words. There is much more to what unites people than what divides them. And in reality, it is not an impossible task to become a better person and make the world a better place, especially if you do it all together. We must believe that philanthropy is the agent of change and we are the brokers of dreams. What we do can and does make the world a better place. And as professionals in philanthropy, we are doing it all together. We will be put to the test every day. Technology, empathy, stewardship, tenacity. But I think we're ready. It is a great opportunity to show that we understand our donors' dreams and share them. That we know these are challenging times for our organizations, for our donors, and for our communities. But the most important idea that we can convey is this. All of your donors hold two portfolios, a financial investment portfolio and a social investment portfolio. They have taken from one to enrich the other. And now when that financial portfolio may feel a little light and maybe a little dingy, we can make sure that that social investment portfolio shines. That they see that their social investment, in fact, gave them the highest return. When we do, what I know from my experience through several economic cycles is that when that financial investment portfolio is once again sturdy, they will be reinvesting in our sector. You received an ebook as part of your registration, which I was asked to prepare as a way of preparing you for this closing plenary. I'd like to remind you of the opening words or invite you to read them if you have not re re yet read the book. The future isn't what it used to be. It's going to be different. This future, once we play our role in shaping it, will also be better. So many predictors have changed. So many things have collapsed. But new ones have emerged, profoundly affecting our role as professionals. The impact of globalization, technology, conflict, unequal distribution of wealth, and the spread of poverty and disease are a sticky mixture of challenge and opportunity. But our opportunity has never been greater. Our challenges, never more daunting. Our support for each other, never more important and never stronger. Our potential for change has never been more vibrant. We can broker dreams. We can continue to meet the needs of our communities, and we must listen for the dreams of our donors. In the words of our Papi Roy, not only is another world possible, she is on her way. On a quiet day, I can hear her.